Assalamualaikum and greetings. Before we start our presentation, I would like to introduce myself and the title for my final year project. My name is Sabrina Binti Wong, student from the College of Mechanical Engineering UITM. The title for my final year project is the effect of fiber orientation on the mechanical properties for Kernel Fiber Reinforced Polymer Composite via NC Simulation under the supervision of Associate Professor Dr. Aida Shumahat. Next, let's look at the project outline of the presentation. Firstly, I will briefly touch on the project summary of my final year project. Secondly, I will explain the problem statement and the objective of the project. After that, we will be looking into the literature review and the scope of work for my project as well as the methodology. Before concluding my presentation, I will share the preliminary results that I had obtained. Now, let's start off with the project summary. In the last few years, as the researchers had been starting to take interest in natural fiber reinforced polymer composites, as well as the increase in environmental awareness and the concept of sustainability, the usage of natural fiber reinforced polymer composites for many engineering applications is gradually increasing these days. In this study, natural fiber reinforced polymer composite, namely kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite, is chosen to be analyzed and the effect of fiber orientation on the mechanical properties of this composite will be evaluated in terms of its tensile, compression, bending, and quasi-static indentation properties using modeling and simulation techniques via NC software. The results are then compared with those of synthetic fiber reinforced polymer composite made of carbon fiber, which is widely used in industry. It is expected that the canal fiber reinforced polymer composite with zero degree fiber orientation exhibit the highest strength and elastic modulus, while the canal fiber reinforced polymer composite with 90 degree fiber orientation show the lowest properties values. This research will contribute to a piece of new knowledge on predicting the strength and performance of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite using the modeling and simulation technique. Next, I will move on to the problem statement of my project. The information on predicting the performance of natural fiber reinforced polymer composites, especially the maximum strength and the deformation of the composite, is very limited and further work on modeling and simulation to predict these performance values are needed and very important. The simulation and predicted values could reduce the cost for conducting destructive testing, reduce time-consuming and evaluating the composite component or structural performances, and also could produce various designs based on the desired properties. Natural fibers are known as environmentally friendly alternative to conventional fiber as reinforcement for composites. However, its relatively low strength and high level of moisture absorption become the major drawbacks of natural fiber reinforced polymer composites. Previous studies show that kernel fiber exhibit better impact strength compared to other natural fiber and the orientation of fiber reinforcement in composites may influence its mechanical properties. Therefore, in order to study the effect of fiber orientation on mechanical properties of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite, modeling and simulation work need to be conducted. Next, I will focus on the objective for my final year project. The first objective of this project is to evaluate the effect of layer sequence on tensile, compressive, bending, and quasi-static indentation strength and the deformation of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composites. The second objective is to assess the effect of a hole on tensile and compressive strength of the composite. The last objective is to determine the effect of the supporting ply angle on the compressive strength of the unidirectional laminate. Now let's look at the literature review of the project. Kernel, with its scientific name Hibiscus cannabinus L, is a herbaceous plant that has recently been commercialized in industries as natural fiber reinforcement for composite for its appealing mechanical properties such as low in density but high in specific strength and modulus. Compared to other natural fibers, kernel fiber is more preferred and developed for its properties and better performance such as its impact strength, storage modulus, and thermal stability. 
Coconut fibers also have tensile strength and modulus that are comparable to those of electrical glass fibers. Coconut fiber is currently increasingly implemented in industries, for example in the production of interior components and low load-bearing parts for green aircraft. The strength of fiber reinforced polymer composite materials depends on the properties of the fiber, the volume fraction, the matrix used, and the fiber orientation. The main drawbacks of Knopf composites are low compatibility between the fiber and the polymer, high absorption capability, which worsen the microcrack and eventually lowers its mechanical strength. Thermoset composites exhibit better mechanical performance compared to thermoplastic composites. Knopf epoxy composite was the most promising composite material as it shows excellent flexural strength, thus can be considered as an alternative in the preparation of automotive parts. It is suggested in a previous study that the alignment of continuous Knopf fiber affects the strength of the composite, in which shows better properties compared to chopped Knopf fiber. In continuous fiber, the loads from the matrix are easily transported along the fiber length in an effective way compared to short fiber, which strengthens the composite. Kernel fiber reinforced polymer composites with zero degree fiber orientation show better property values compared to composite with 90 degree fiber orientation. Next up, it is scope of work for my final year project. The first scope of work is conducting a literature review on previous studies related to natural fiber reinforced polymer composites, kernel fiber, and the effect of fiber orientation on mechanical properties of natural fiber reinforced polymer composites. The next scope is conducting modeling and simulation to analyze the performance of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite using NC software. And the last scop is simulating carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites for validation purposes by comparing the results obtained for both Knopf and carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites. Shown in this slide is the summary of loading and testing types, failure criterion, specimen dimensions, and layout sequence used in the study. Now let's move on and look at the methodology. This part will cover the pre-processing done, convergence analysis, the boundary conditions, and the loading type. The very first step in pre-processing is setting up the preference for structure analysis using NC software. In the modeling process, the specimen dimensions follow the ASTM standards. The shell at load 281 is selected as the element type. The materials properties of the model are then defined as structural of linear elastic orthotropic. The layout sequence of the laminates are then defined by adding the shell layout according to the thickness and fiber orientation of the specimen. The slide shows the mechanical properties of Knopf and carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites used for the simulation. Convergence analysis is done to determine the number of mesh elements required in a model to ensure that any changes in the size of mesh will not be affecting the results of the analysis. In this convergence analysis, few mesh sizes, as stated in the slide, were tested on unidirectional carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite for fiber orientation of 0 degree, 45 degree, and 90 degree under the same tensile load of 10 kN. From the figure shown, the value for maximum displacement remains the same as the mesh size increases. Thus, mesh size of 8 times 8 was chosen to get accurate results at fast computation of data. The slide shows the example of the sample size used and the boundary condition of the specimen, in which zero degree of freedom is defined at the middle node of the specimen. The slide shows the example of loading type and the mesh for both tensile and compression tests. Now let me present the preliminary results obtained. The table shows the maximum line load at maximum stress for Knopf fiber reinforced polymer composite and carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite loaded in tension. This graph demonstrates the relationship between the maximum stress and the fiber orientation angle of Knopf fiber reinforced polymer composite loaded in tensile. 
from the polynomial line on the graph, we can see that the highest maximum stress is obtained at 0 degree and the lowest is obtained at 90 degree. The table shows the maximum line load at maximum stress for canal and carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite loaded in compression. This graph demonstrates the relationship between the maximum stress and fiber orientation angle of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite loaded in compression. The polynomial line shows the highest maximum stress of the composite when loaded in compression is obtained with 0 degree, while the lowest is obtained with 90 degree. The table shows the maximum displacement for kernel and carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites loaded in tension and compression. From the results, we can see the maximum compression displacement of the kernel fiber reinforced polymer composite is greater compared to its maximum tensile displacement. This slide shows the example of displacement control in X direction for zero degree laminates, kernel fiber reinforced polymer composites loaded in tensile and compression. And finally, we reach the conclusion of the presentation. Based on the preliminary results, it can be proven that the canal fiber reinforced polymer composites with zero degree fiber orientation expected to exhibit the highest strength, while the composites with 90 degree fiber orientation are expected to show the lowest properties values. From the graph plotted, the performance values, such as the maximum strength and the deformation affected by the fiber orientation of kernel fiber reinforced polymer composites loaded in tensile and compression can be predicted. We already reached the end of the presentation. Before ending, I would like to thank my supervisor for her guidance in completing my final year project. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to all panels and friends for listening to my presentation. I hope you will have gained an insight into the effect of fiber orientation on the mechanical properties of canal fiber reinforced polymer composite. In the next following slides, I provide the project planning and the references used in my presentation. Assalamualaikum and farewell. <music>